Yo, what up? It's your boy Wiz Khalifa, man, with that sticky, icky on Sticky Paws Studios. Yeah, yup. Oh, so John and I are going to LA, and the reason why I sigh is because, come on, Vegas is so much better than LA in almost every aspect. 110 heat, zero humidity, UV index of 10. Like nobody wants that beautiful 80 degrees, you know, a nice comfortable 50% humidity, a nice breeze on the ocean. Nobody wants that. We're going out there and it's honestly, uh, it's gonna be interesting because we have a few things planned. We're going out there for a documentary for a man named Brad Grumberg. His name is Johnny Cocktails. He's an actor, he's worked with Adam Sandler and many different things. He's shooting a documentary on Mom's Saloon in the Valley of LA and we've shot a few things here in Vegas. Now we're going, taking all of our equipment. John and I are going to LA to shoot a few things in a bar in LA with a few things planned. But on the way, we're hoping to hit Eddie's World which apparently has this really crazy thing where it has a video game built into the urinal so you can like so the, the goal is that people will actually aim and not pee all over the floor for some reason what what was that crazy game, but mine was shooting, capturing pirates or something. Yeah, mine was pirates yeah. too. I did terrible though. No, I was not good at it. It wasn't working. <laughs> so uh, I can't wait to hit that part and it's just going to be really, really weird. I'm going to a Dodgers game for the first time. I'm really excited about that. Never been to a professional baseball game, let alone the Dodgers stadium. John was able to get the hookup through a few friends with Johnny Cocktails and we were able to have a suite. So infinite uh, Dodger dogs for me and I'm going to enjoy every single bit of it. Part of the shoot on uh, the second day we're shooting with Tom Sizemore. We're going to be shooting a screen test to see how Johnny Cocktails, aka Brad Grumberg, and Tom Sizemore uh, work together in kind of like a sting operation. So it's kind of like the, the veteran cop and the goof. So we'll figure out how that works. I'm super glad to work with him in the future um, and see what we can make out with that. We're staying in Hollywood at the Hollywood Roosevelt Hotel and hopefully nothing goes wrong. <laughs> The, the environment is beautiful, we got valet, hopefully the beds are really, really, really comfortable because you know me, I need to be able to sleep soundly at night. I literally just sat down on the bed here. It is not comfortable. It's so hard, look, just listen, listen to my spine as I sit down. No bounce. You know, honestly, probably four out of 10, four out of 10. Unfortunately, we're gonna stay somewhere else, but we got a hookup and we were able to stay at this hotel. So let's see how it works out. All right, I'm gonna shoot some stuff on the way and hopefully we have some B-roll going, but I'm gonna go pack and uh, I guess I'll see you in the next part. When you're editing, you may not think that you need to type fast, but being quick on the keyboard can help in more than one way. So I wanna make sure that everybody here at the studio is capable of keeping up with my speed at a minimum to make sure that we're being as efficient as possible when we're editing, typing emails, sending memes, the works. So I'm gonna tell the guys that I propose a competition for all of us to take a typing test and see who is the best and fastest typer. Let's talk to the guys and see what they think. So Austin wants to challenge us to a type test. Little does he know that I actually bought these weights for this exact reason. I am going to be the fastest typer. I don't have a loud clacker keyboard like these other jabronis in here to make me seem faster than what I am, but right now I'm definitely hovering at, I don't know, 70, 80, maybe 100 at the best. Okay, so Austin is trying to make us look like a fool by typing, but he doesn't know that I have a secret. See, the most important thing is you gotta, you gotta get really good in there. You can't have dirt on your hands. You gotta be able to be sleek, you know? You know, they don't call me the whiz fingers for nothing, okay? You know, I've been training my whole life for this. Yeah. Proprietary information. You don't see F1 cars being filmed. I think we're ready to find out who the fastest typer here is. Four, three, two.
81 words per minute. I went up with an accuracy of 98%. Let's see what they get. 62 again. But your accuracy is doing way better. With 94% accuracy, not bad. 57. With what's your accuracy? 57. 95. Damn, so I was faster and more accurate. We'll, we'll give it to you. All hail. All Please, hail. You will forever send my emails. Yes, forever. Type everything we have to type. Oh, what's going on? DJ E Rock here, Real 92.3 Los Angeles, Real 1039 Las Vegas. So I do a podcast. It's uh, the uh, the Hotbox Podcast. Also, I do a radio show called Radio Basement. It's with me. I am your host. Sometimes you never know whoever who's going to stop by the show. Today, Wiz Khalifa stopping by. We're going to talk about his new album, his new single, Badass Bitches. Probably who can outsmoke who, him or Snoop. A whole bunch of things we're going to unfold, man, in this conversation. Start engineer, Trevor. Howdy, man. Hey. I do it. I usually do that one myself. What's good, y'all? It's Real 92.3, LA's new home for hip hop. DJ E Rock in the building. It's the basement. And uh, ladies and gentlemen, Wiz Khalifa Howdy. is in the building right now. This is a jelly. This is a freaking time machine. It's a spaceship, bro. Spaceship. This is mega. Oh, they're doing it. It's going down. <laughs> so we just have to like, we have to both be in on that. I respect you so much. Size medium, good. Yeah, yeah. Like a little <laughs> Why was Khalifa? Oh, what a scallywag he is. He's so funny. You know his humor is like really, really like he likes to make fun of like British people, not make fun of them. But he says like, hello bro. Right when I walked in, I fist bumped him and I said, howdy there. And he's like, he stopped for a second because you know, people are always like on edge around famous people. But when I just like whipped out my, the most white thing I could say to any person ever, he's like, that's what I say to myself. How do you know what's inside my head? And then he walked past me. And during the whole show, during uh, DJ Rock show, Radio Basement, he kept on like making these little jokes that kept on going over Eric's heads. And I'm just laughing my ass off behind the ring. I wish I had a camera on me, but like, I feel like he was playing to like my humor the, the entire time. He loves the kind of very dry, very British-esque humor. But we had a great time. He was in the studio for Radio Basement. Check it out at radio, at radio underscore basement. You can follow at DJ Rock on Instagram, or you can follow us at Sticky Paws Studios. We'll be the last time we have someone of influence in our building. We're constantly allowing our podcasters to have an environment where they can have people be comfortable, share the message they want to. So if you guys want to do a podcast here at Stinky Pod Studios, you know, we got you.